For the past 30 days, we've taken a crash course in rocket science. The processing power that's sitting in your lap right now used to occupy buildings and buildings and buildings during the Apollo program. We've actually built the rocket capable of making it into space. All that was left to do was pack it up and take it out to the desert to launch. Taking it apart already? When we were disassembling the rocket, me and Chris were carrying back one of the motor casings, and Chris notices the crack. Is that okay, Tom? Oh, God. That looks like the casing's cracked. This is where it could pretty much go kaboom, and that's bad. If we run this like this, there's a risk these will detonate. Having been through projects like this, what you'll find out is, is that the emotions are always going up and down and up and down. Basically, what we're looking at here is a jet stream forecast for the day before our launch window opens. We're looking at rain out at the launch site. Where we fly is a dry lake bed. Well, it's dry most of the year. We may wake up in the middle of the night and all of a sudden water is coming up out of the ground. One thing I'm afraid of is the chute system. The parachutes might actually shred. And there certainly are a lot of risks and things that could malfunction. Ah, we got a lot to go through. The other situation we have to deal with is, as the rocket flies, how do the winds affect its trajectory and where it goes? Because the rocket responds to the wind. I've never done anything with one try. Something always goes wrong. I get worried about everything. Basically, we've built a rocket, and uh, it's ready to fly. So that's kind of the good news. Is there bad news? Yeah. There's bad news. <laughs> It keeps building and building, but it's kind of painful too. So you want to like go and launch it already. We have such a short window to launch this thing, and if the weather doesn't cooperate, we can't launch it. The jet stream is basically heading south and is kind of just camping itself over northern Nevada. We got a weather hold, um, and I don't know how long you hold. Now we wait. <laughs>